Timberline right now, since we're talking snow, amazing. The skiing's been phenomenal. I mean, we had some sunshine yesterday. Some skiers sent me pictures, said it was great. Now there's new snow. See, the snow is falling as we speak. It's 29 degrees at Timberline, but the temperature will be dropping overnight tonight. There's been a couple of inches of new snow. There's going to be several inches of more snow overnight tonight as we have a winter weather advisory from the Central Oregon Cascades up to the gorge and then up in the Washington Cascades as well. Uh, and that extends until midnight tonight. And by that time, think about this. We may get a foot of snow between now and midnight. So that's over an inch an hour because we only have seven hours to go till midnight. So it's going to be dumping up on the mountain during the evening hours tonight and skiing tomorrow, cross country, downhill, snowboarding, whatever you want to do. However you like to slide on the snow, be great conditions for tomorrow morning. The passes look good too. They're just wet. So getting to the mountain right now anyway is pretty good. It's 36 at government camp down at uh, Santa Ana Pass. Also bare pavement and just above freezing at 33. We'll have a pass seeing a mix of rain and snow and about 34 degrees there. So there will be snow in the passes later tonight as the snow level continues to drop on down. Hey, nice to see some sunshine dropping on the Oregon coast too. Still some showers out there. You see them over here on the north side of Haystack Rock. But at least we're getting some sun breaks, and that's happening in downtown Portland as well. 50 degrees at the beach. Here's our band of heavy precipitation pushing into the Cascades. So which is that's why the snowfall rates are really going to pick up now in the next two, three hours or so. The rainfall in the valley is only 18 hundredths of an inch for Hillsborough and Portland. 16 hundredths up in Vancouver, a little bit more up at Scappoos. In downtown, we've had about a quarter of an inch and over on the Oregon coast, nearly an inch at Astoria and at Tillamook. So it rained really hard at the beaches last night and this morning. Tomorrow, though, we'll go to Portland by the hour beginning at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. A little bit of sun in the 40s. In fact, it might even be in the 30s at that point, but then we'll catch up into the 50s. And by 1 o'clock, cloudy, but it's still not raining. I think it's going to be a little bit later than that when the rain begins in the Rose City once again, courtesy of that weather system there. Now, the one that came in today has cold air behind it. We're talking about winter weather advisories and the snow. This one will not be that. This is a warmer animal. This is going to bring us a lot of rain tomorrow night, but it's also going to deliver warmer temperatures for the weekend. This will shift us from the cool pattern to a much warmer pattern. Still be wet, but it's going to be warmer. So we got that going for us. All right, here's what it looks like tomorrow at four o'clock. Rain offshore moves in about five o'clock or so. Very rainy tomorrow night. And then on Saturday, I think we dry it out for the middle part of the day. So the middle part of the weekend looks dry. It will be bookended by rain early Saturday and then later on Sunday as this next weather system comes barreling into the coast once again. And that'll begin the process of cooling us back down and getting the snow levels back down around the passes around the middle of next week. Now look at the rainfall with this one. This is five o'clock tomorrow. Still no precipitation has really fallen. But from then right on into Saturday, look at this. We end up with seven tenths of an inch in less than 24 hours and nearly well over an inch and a half at Welch, just nearly an inch down at Salem. So again, it's going to be a really good soaker tomorrow night. The overall pattern, you know, there's been some hints of heading towards drier weather. We certainly warm up this weekend as we get southwesterly flow. But then we see more cold air move back into the northwest around the middle and end of next week. So I just can't promise you that we're going to see a shift away from the wet pattern, at least not for more than a day or two. Our high today only 53, full 16 degrees below the average for this date. That really is quite remarkable. Portland right now we're getting some sun breaks. As you can see, it is 53 in the freezing level 4100 feet, but it will be dropping. That was actually from this morning. So the rain's ending mostly cloudy tomorrow, though, with the rain coming in late in the afternoon. High tomorrow 58, then 65 on Saturday and 68 on Sunday. And then it begins to drop back down and by the middle and end of next week. We're topping out of the 50s once again. So we don't really shake the pattern, but at least we get a break and we get a warm up over the weekend. At least